Hey there, how's it going? It is your muscle building coach, Lee Hayward, back again with another Ask Lee video Q&A. Now, today's question was sent in through the Total Fitness Bodybuilding YouTube channel uh, by Jan. And he says, Hey Lee, I've been trying to grow a bigger chest and make it more proportional to my back. I'm a rower, and since I've been working out for a short time only, I started working chest every day, hoping that it would grow fast. I have this fear of not getting the results if I have a day off from the gym. I'm skinny and tall and I've been spending seven days a week in the gym for about three months. I must say I can see some results but not the ones I expected. Everyone has a different opinion about this muscle recovery. Uh, if I sleep eight hours and eat well, can I train a muscle group every day with heavy weights? All right, Jan, I can relate to what you're going through because I felt the same way when I started training. I mean, all through my teenage years, I had this, this mentality that the more I worked out and the longer I worked out, the harder I worked out, then the more results I was going to get. You know, more is better. And I had that whole mentality and that kind of dictated my training philosophy and my workouts in my early days. And as crazy as it is, you can actually make progress training like this, especially when you have youth on your side and you're full of piss and vinegar and you've got all kinds of, uh, you know, your natural anabolic hormones are at their peak and you've got adequate recovery and work capacity. I mean, you can actually train every day and make good gains. But what's going to happen eventually is you're going to get to the point where you're breaking your body down faster than it can recover. And this is known as overtraining. And overtraining is real. I mean, if, if you push yourself beyond your recovery levels, then you are going to shortchange your muscle growth. I mean, what happens is you're going into the gym and you're breaking your body down day after day after day, but you're not giving it a chance to rest, recover, and grow. And not only is this going to affect the individual body parts, but it's going to stress out your central nervous system. And this can just cause your body to break down in general. I mean, people who are severely overtrained, they find you know, your immune system is going to get weaker. You're going to be more susceptible to getting sick and infections like colds and flus and things like that. So this is a serious issue. And you need to take a step back. Take a step back and look at the big picture. I mean, building muscle is a process. It's a process of stimulating muscle growth, so going to the gym and working out and stimulating muscle growth, and then giving your body adequate time to rest, recover, and grow. And if you shortchange or skip any one of these steps, then you're going to shortchange your results. So, I mean, obviously, if, if you skip the workout, then you're not giving your body a, a, a reason to grow bigger and stronger. But if you skip the recovery process, then you're not giving your body time to rest, recover, and grow. And each, each portion here is equally important. I mean, you, you can't have one without the other. So by working out every day and just constantly beating your body down day after day after day, that's what's hindering your results right now. It's not the lack of effort, not the lack of, of, of willpower or discipline or anything else. It's that you're providing too much. You're not giving your body a chance to rest, recover, and grow. And generally speaking, it takes about 72 hours for a muscle group to recover after a workout. Now again, this is a generalization because obviously if you do a, a short workout, an easy workout, you're going to recover faster. If you do a big, long, hard workout, then your recovery is going to take longer. But on average, it takes about 72 hours for a body part to recover. So knowing this, you should limit your body part workouts to no more than twice a week. So instead of training your chest seven days a week like you're doing right now and probably not getting that good of results, cut back to training your chest twice a week. I know it seems like a big drop and you're probably afraid that you're not going to make gains and all that, but chances are you're actually going to make better gains because now you're going to be giving your body time to rest, recover, and grow. Th those elements that you're neglecting right now. So have faith, you know, like take this, take this on a leap of faith that if you cut back on the frequency of your workouts, you're actually going to make better results. And I can attest to this. I mean, when I was younger, I used to work out every single day. But it wasn't until I kind of smartened up and somebody else kind of sh shared what I'm sharing with you, sh shared the same thing with me. 
and that I cut back on the frequency of my workouts. And I actually found that I made my best size and strength gains working out every second day. So I'd go to the gym one day and then I'd take the next day completely off to let my body rest and recover. And I found that this pattern of working out every second day worked really well for me and it allowed me to maximize my strength and muscle gains. So that's what I challenge you to do right now. To cut back on your workout frequency and give your body time to rest, recover, and grow. And I bet you'll be pleasantly surprised over the next few months by just how big of an impact having adequate rest and recovery can make to your overall muscle gains. So give that a try. And if you have any comments or feedback or anything like that, feel free to post those down in the comment section below. And I'll chat with you down there. And stay tuned for our next video coming soon. Take care. Over and out.